What's up friends? Welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name's Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I talk all things bookish, specifically queer books, and I like to make up my own bookish challenges. In today's video I'm going to share with you 10 items that you can buy book lovers in your life that aren't books. This video was requested on Instagram when I asked you what holiday videos you would like to see, but I'm also going to be fulfilling another request which was a book gift guide. So what books fit certain people? So let me know in the comments if you are shopping for a specific reader, specific books that you are buying for people, and if you need a recommendation I will give it to you in that video. Everything I mentioned in this video will be linked down below and I'm also going to have a blog post just recapping everything that I've shared in this video. Let's get on to the bookish gift guide. Number one is my favorite thing ever, a book sleeve. This one is from my friend Angel Shop. Angel makes crafts. This is like a larger one and this one is from Ardent Admirations and I've had this for a while. What I love about a book sleeve is it helps your books not get damaged. I used this a lot in college when I would have my book in my bag and it would start raining. I would just put the book in the book sleeve and then my book cannot get damaged. It's awesome. I love it. But this one is for a smaller book, so I'll just show you how it works. Angel does have those in her shop as well. So how it's going to work is you just slip it in. There you go. And now your book is protected. So this is what a small book sleeve is going to look like. So I would say if the person in your life reads paperbacks or like reads short contemporaries, I would say to get them a short one. But my recommendation would be to buy a large one just because I think the person that you're buying this for is really going to appreciate it because sometimes our books just do not fit in the small one and that's why I love this one from Angel because it fits these large books. It's perfect. It fits perfectly and now your book is going to be safe. Also these are perfect if you have someone who reads on their Kindle a lot because I believe this one fits a Kindle Fire and the smaller one should fit like a Kindle Paperwhite. So here's my Kindle Fire. Oh it actually fits really well but I think it would also fit in here especially if someone like uses their iPad or something. Um, I don't think my iPad would fit in here, but this would also fit. This is a little small, but depending on what size they have, I would recommend this. Besides the book sleeves, Angel has crocheted items in her shop and she also has these fun bookmarks that you may have seen in my videos lately. I love these because they just slip onto the edge of your book. They're awesome and she has all different designs so her shop will be linked down below as well as her YouTube channel because she has created a separate channel where she just documents all of the things she's doing on Etsy and it's really cool so please go and give her some support. If you would like to shop with Angel she's currently doing a 50% off sale and that is going to end on Friday and then it is 25% off during the month of December. So definitely go and support Angel and take advantage of those sales. She also has an Instagram for the shop so you can go and follow that for updates. Next is a audiobook service and this is for the person in your life who listens to a lot of audiobooks. Maybe they have a commute to work or school and they're always listening to audiobooks and so I'm going to recommend you buy them a membership to Libro FM. This video is not sponsored, not reviewed, anything like that. I am just shouting out things that I like that I think that you would also benefit from and these are just things that readers like. So if you're not a reader and you're watching this video I think that this will really help you. Libro FM is an audiobook service that helps support local indie bookstores. So when you sign up you will help local indie bookstores in your area. When you create an account you choose which bookstore you would like to support and a portion of your membership goes to helping local bookstores. It is similar to Audible where you get credits a month 
for $14.99 a month, you can help support your favorite local bookstore and you get an audiobook in exchange. You get one credit a month for audiobooks, but they do a lot of sales where you get them 30% off. So you can go in the little sales section and buy some as well. So you're doing a lot of good with this service. I personally use it to just buy the audiobooks when they're on sale. So if your friend has an audiobook that they've been wanting to read lately, I think that that would be a really good gift. Honestly, if someone bought me my favorite book in an audiobook, I would love them so much. So take my recommendation if you would like to and use Libro FM. I'll have it linked down below. Like I said, I'm not sponsored. I don't have an affiliate or anything. I'm just recommending them so you can go down below and buy your friend a membership or a favorite audiobook or just a book that you think they'll like. Like honestly, you could just buy them an audiobook. Do people really buy each other audiobooks? I think we should start doing it. What a good idea. I'm going to buy all my friends audiobooks for Christmas. And when you get your friend audiobooks, send them here. Say, Alex sent you. It was his idea. Next is a library bag. This one is from Barnes & Noble. I got it a few Christmases ago and it just has like a quote on it. And the one that I currently use is from the Strand in New York when I went and it has a zipper. It's awesome. It has pockets inside so you can really go anywhere to get these. Um, I'm sure you could go online but I would recommend to go to Barnes & Noble or check out your local indie. They might actually have some good ones and I think that that is such a good gift and I would love to receive it. So if you have someone in your life who goes to the library a lot and uses it a lot, I would recommend that. There you go. There's another one. I'm just giving you friend brownie points with this video. So <laughs> let me know if you buy any of these items and what your friends think of them. I would actually love to know if you use any of these and if it turned out really well. Next, if you want a creative or personable gift, I'm going to recommend you either make this yourself or you can just go and get this at your local bookstore. This is a blind date with a book. Now, not every bookstore is going to have it. My bookstore just started doing it, which is really fun. So if you go to a bookstore, they'll probably do it or you could just do it yourself. So if you want a fun gift, I would recommend you get a blind date with a book. It is basically a book that is wrapped up and it should have like buzzwords on it. So you kind of get a gist of what the book is about, but you don't know what the actual book is. This is a really fun gift. So you could either just pick up a book at the bookstore and make your own blind date with a book, or you could just purchase one at your bookstore if they do that. I know that my local bookstore does. They just started doing it. There's a couple bookstores that do it. So you might just have to look to see if yours does, but you could also just do it yourself and it would be really fun. And I think that if you gift this to somebody, they're really going to enjoy it. So you are buying this person a book, but it's way more fun. Next is a simple one, and this is to get them a gift card to one of their favorite bookstores or just a bookstore in general. I get these every Christmas and it makes me so happy. I love it so much, but there is a specific place if you would like to help out your indie bookstore. So maybe the person you're gifting doesn't live nearby or you just want to gift them to one of their favorite bookstores that is not in your area, you can use Bookshop. They have a gift card option, which we'll, I'll link down below, and you can actually choose up to $1,000. <laughs> On their website, it says if you purchase a gift card from a specific store or affiliate on Bookshop, the recipient will be sent to the same store on our site when they click the link to redeem the card. So the store will get credit for any purchases made. I think this is awesome. If you have like an internet friend and you just want to gift them a gift card to their favorite indie bookstore, I would recommend this. It's fun and it's a really good gift. So I will have that link down below. These next two go hand in hand, so I'll recommend them together. But first is a TBR cart, and that is the thing you can see behind me. And I'll have a link down below to where you can purchase one. I got mine from Michaels. As of now, they're 30 bucks on Michaels, and they are called the Lexington Three-Tier Rolling Cart by Simply Tidy. 
I love mine so much. I use it a lot and I have a small bookshelf so I use it because I just have a lot of books and I need to put them places but I think this is a perfect gift for a book lover in your life and you can get them magnets as well. I think that's a really good gift. You could probably go anywhere for magnets and make them personable but you could also go onto Etsy and buy some. I know there's a bunch of bookish stores that do magnets so I'll try and include them in my blog post. If you want to buy me some magnets for the holidays I would not be opposed to that. <laughs> All of mine are free. Mine are just hockey players and I also have a free one that I got from the suicide prevention hotline. None of mine are bookish but honestly the hockey players really give my TBR card some personality. <laughs> I got these magnets when I went to an event for their 50th anniversary and now I just have all their faces and it's honestly kind of sad to look at my cart sometimes because a lot of them have been traded. I think there's only one person on there now that is still on the team. <laughs> Next is a reading light. If someone reads, if someone reads, get them a reading light. That is, that's a PSA for me. Next is a reading light. This is such a perfect gift and I would love, I would love all of these gifts. That's why I'm recommending them to you. I use these so much. The one I recently got a couple months ago was from the Target dollar section. Also check out your local indie bookstore. They're definitely going to have a lot of fun gadgets that you can buy and they definitely are going to sell a reading light. So if you're going to a local indie bookstore to do the blind date with a book idea, I would suggest to go and pick up a reading light as well. I think adding a bunch of things into that gift would be really good especially if you're doing like a Pollyanna and you need like a certain budget and maybe you haven't hit the budget yet. I would suggest to just add some little trinket things like that. It would really work with the gift and I think a reading light would go so well with a book but you could also just get someone reading light in general because it would be cool and I guarantee they would really enjoy it. Next is headphones and this is for people that either listen to music while they are reading like me or if someone listens to audiobooks you could buy them an audiobook and buy them headphones and they would probably be your friend for life. <laughs> like that would be such a good gift. This is free. This video is free. I'm giving you free ideas. So buy someone an audiobook and then buy them headphones and it'll be awesome. I don't have a specific headphone recommendation but if you would like to give one in the comments definitely feel free. And last is a bookish tapestry or mugs. You can see my tapestry behind me. I'll link it down below. I've had it for a couple years now and I really enjoy it and I think it's a good gift but you could also just give them a bookish mug. Etsy and Redbubble are really good for this. I have a couple from Redbubble. For me Redbubble and Etsy are my go-to places when I am going to buy a new bookish mug. So those were my top 10 recommendations for gifts you can buy book lovers. If you are holiday shopping and this video helped you please give it a like. It really helps support my channel when you do so and it'll help more people who are shopping for the holidays find this video. If you're also going to be shopping for books definitely comment down below what you're looking for and I will help assist you in the next video. I'm going to be doing the 12 days of vlogmas in December so feel free to hit subscribe so you don't miss another video. Thank you for watching, thank you for supporting and if you would like to support me further I have a Patreon. This Black Friday I am doing a special offer where if you sign up during the weekend you can receive a personalized book recommendation from yours truly so if you would like to help Help support my channel definitely go over to my Patreon and thank you for choosing my video to click on. I really appreciate it. I spend a lot of time and this was such a fun video to make so thank you for watching till the end and I will see you in the next video very soon. Bye!